Hog Derby Duels, a brand new Halo Machinima series, airing now on popular video games. What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here, chilling out, Max, now doing my thing. All right, y'all, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super. We're going to be talking about possible spoilers for episodes 97 through 102. We're going to be talking about Hit versus Ja Ren. Let's be honest here. I totally want to see that, especially if my theory is correct that Ja Ren knows time skip. We are literally going to have a bunch of time skip fighting. That's awesome. So in the midst of, I'll say, a minute, these guys are really fighting for fucking five or ten minutes. This is going to be awesome. Awesome. especially with his overall pure progression let's be honest here it seems that goku is kind of out of his league with jaren hit on the other hand seems to have already grabs well everything it doesn't matter what goku does hit is always on another level frost seems to have gotten stronger as well but that's beside the point hit versus jaren time skip fighting yes yes but one is just going to confirm that Ja Ren has time skip. If he doesn't, we're going to get to see how really powerful he is being able to counteract Hit's time skip. Now, let's be real here. Hit seems to only want to go for the strongest opponent out of all the universes. He did that for Universe 7, aka Goku and Vegeta. Now, let's be real. Hit sits back and he watches. You can't tell me that he wouldn't seen Goku talking to Jaren and Jaren just appearing behind Goku and Goku did not even sense it. Let's be real here. That's going to be something that's going to pique Hit's interest and Hit's going to know that that's going to be the most terrifying and the most troublesome opponent in the tournament. Now, we're also going to be talking about who's going to win. Now, let's be real here. My best is on Jaren. One, because Jaren is just too fucking beefed up that and i believe that he well the writers and such is directing the overall flow of goku and ja Ren's final bow to be the center stage of the fight and such of the tournament now that's why i believe that ja Ren will win overall because we've already seen hit versus goku and it's going to be kind of remedial not remedial but repetitive to keep on having Goku versus Hit, Goku versus Hit. And this whole power tournament, the whole premise is Goku fighting Hit. It all boils down to Universe 7 versus 6. We don't want to see that. Let's be real here. We want to see Ja Ren because Goku fighting Topo. Goku could barely hurt Topo. I'm not going to lie. He could barely hurt Topo with Super Saiyan Blue. He did a Kamehameha up to Topo's face and it didn't even graze him. And now, Beerus Nerba was saying that Goku was coming second to Topo and Topo was saying I couldn't beat him. Um, If you would have continued, yeah, you would have. Super Saiyan Blue would have ran out. Your power is just your power. There's no transformations needed. Topo would have beaten Goku. He literally would have beaten Goku. Literally. Now, let's also throw in this here. If Ja Ren actually does beat Hit, it's going to be monumental because then we're really going to get to see the true gap between Goku and Ja Ren's strength before their final battle or before Goku's new transformation, whatever that's going to be. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching. This is me, your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace out and talk to y'all. Laters.